Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to talk about Obsidian version 0.9.10 and one of its notable um, additions here they've added in third-party plugins. So let's take a look at this. We go into settings, go into third-party plugins. First off, they by default put it in safe mode. Of course, they they don't have the kind of incremental security permissions Im, uh, implemented yet. So you can either have it to where the plugins is disabled overall, or you can come in here and you can enable plugins. And you know they kind of give you a notice here of what will happen if you disable this particular security feature. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now here and they once you turn it off you get this option to browse the community plugins so if we go into community plugins you'll get a list of all the community plugins that they have available to you and for the most part these should be uh, things that are pretty secure to install you probably shouldn't need to worry too much but you can click on these here and you get a link to the GitHub so you can get access to the code and analyze the code yourself if you want to you know do some kind of security um, check on the actual code for the plugin now each of the different plugins are going to give you of course certain functionality you get the version, you get the name of the author and the repository, and then a little description. If you want to install it, you can go ahead and just click the install. You get the little pop-up in the corner here once it's successfully installed. One thing that does not change here is that the install button should probably show that the plugin has been installed, so you don't click on it again. Um, but that's something that, of course, can be fixed later down the road. So we've installed this calendar plugin here. And if we go out of here and we go into the install plugins, which now shows up below the community plugins browse area there, you can see all the ones that are installed. The calendar here is currently installed. And what's good here, again, from a security standpoint is that the plugin is disabled by default so you install it is and the code is actually um, the plugin is installed on the local computer and if we go into the vault and if we come in here we can see that the plugin directory is installed under the dot obsidian folder in your vault and then in plugins so this folder here will have the uh, JavaScript and JSON files for this particular plugin as I said you can go through this code if you would like to now if we go back to the plugin or to obsidian here let's go ahead and enable this plugin so we enable it, we can see on the plugins corner here that now the calendar shows up and we can see that start of the week is Monday. We can go ahead and enable this, this feature here, which will then you'll see this tab here on the corner here for the calendar and it will change here. We can see that Monday is the beginning of the week. I typically start my my weeks in the calendar on Monday, but you can again turn this off and make it the typical Sunday, Monday, Tuesday type of uh, flow. Now, this particular calendar is is nice because it, it gives your calendar at a glance here within your your um, your dashboard or the the user interface here as you have have it open. You can collapse this. Um, if you're used to Obsidian, but I like to have the calendar available to me. So if you click on the actual date though, what happens here is this particular plugin creates a new file um, if it does not exist. So it prompts you here 
would, would you like to create it? Yes, we want to create it. And then it puts you right into the actual um, note for that daily, that daily note there. So this is your calendar plugin. Let's install one more third party plugin here. We'll go ahead and browse. And let's go to the sliding panes here. We'll go ahead and install this. And this gives you the side by side panes where the, the, the name of the actual note is vertical instead of horizontal. And you could do these things before by editing, you know, the CSS. But now it's all packaged in a nice plugin that you just go in here and enable. And you also get some additional options if you go into the plugin settings area here. But if we move into the note now, you can see that the name is vertical here. And if we want to, let's say if we want to split this screen vertically, we can now see that the label is vertical across the different notes. And you can have these stacked side by side as however many notes you want to open up. Okay, so that's the third party plugins feature that has been added to Obsidian. If you want to disable it, you can come in here and you can disable all the plugins. You can uninstall them individually one by one. Um, or you can come in here, you can disable also just put it in safe mode and that will disable the plugins as well. Also by disabling the plugins and uninstalling them, you'll see that once you uninstall them, the folders will be removed in the folder area. And if you have any issues, we did have in an earlier version of that calendar where it did not delete the tabs, you could close Obsidian, reopen it, and then any artifacts that are left behind would would disappear. If you have any issues with any of the plugins, again the author's name and the link to the GitHub location for those are in the notes. So you can always reach out to the author of the plugin and let them know that there are issues with the plugin. So that's it for this video. If you found this information helpful please like the video and if you like the content on the channel please subscribe and until the next time have a nice day